Sorry, my mic. Anyway, I am ready. Hold on, let me. Alright, I'm ready. God dang it. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. 7 a.m. My name is The Velocity here, and it's time for me to watch Art of Balance 3. Here we go. Come on. I want to see the destruction. <sighs> Boy, I obviously can't wait to watch it. Career will be beginning shortly. Let me type in the chat. It's time! Here we go. Long time in the making, and someone will have a lot of content over a radio to show. It's finally time to tell you guys what we've we'll been working on. Enjoy. Thanks, Billy! Ooh, can't wait. I really love how Billy Brockner. Really working hard to update the oh, it's starting. All right, it's starting. Let's go. I had to mute the music because, because, uh, this is very long because you can't hear me talking. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. Hold on. There's a Dumb echo all over. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's do it. Alright. One minute, 14 seconds. I am so super high to watch this. <laughs> I watched the Alien Invasion Review video and I watched the Art of Balance 3 official trailer and I was like and and I saw in the newspaper and then it says tell and then it says T on the alphabet and it says Televille. And I also noticed there's a Brockner who've been blocked off because everybody knows that nobody will ever say Billy's real name. But the one Billy Bob one literally won't want everyone to say the real name on public. Like, this is so toast crazy. Look at the chat. <laughs> Those chats are going cuckoo crazy. Look at the chat. Oh man. I am, I am obviously ready. Hold on, let me bring someone with me. Hold on, let me bring my special guest. Before we start, uh, which one is it? Ah, these guys. All right, I'm bringing my special guest, Luigi, Tari, and Destiny. I am ready. I am ready. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I already just seen the trailer, but now it's in the intro. Tony, <laughs> that kills 552 people. That's a lot. Oh, there's Billy. Art of Balance 3! Woo! Here we go! Alright, you guys ready? Hello everyone, and welcome to the Art of Balance 3 presentation. Was that Billy? Billy Bob 1, the lead developer <gasps> yes! of Tornado Alley. Yes! It's Billy! Today, we'll be discussing content that is coming in the next update, the Art of Balance 3. Now, before we begin, what is the Art of Balance? The Art of Balance is an idea that was spanned across three updates with the goal to balance the amount of game modes and public maps in the game. Uh. When the Art of Balance updates began in early 2021, 
three maps were needed to balance the amount of game modes and maps. The first Art of Balance update was in February of 2021. February of 2021. The of three maps to come. The second Art of Balance update was in May of 2021, where we released Tropico as the second map of three maps. Tropico. We also threw in some extra May content, such as the neighborhood map revamp, the volcano disaster, and sub-game modes such as Retro Your Doom. Now, we sit at the final stage of the Art of Balance updates, Ooh. over a year since the concept was initially planned out. We want to thank you all for your patience while we worked on the final chapter to these updates. Yeah. Hopefully, you find the wait to be worthwhile. So, now you're caught up on the meaning behind the Art of Balance updates. It's time to finally dive in to the new content coming in this next update to the game. Oh yeah. You guys ready? First, let's start with a reveal trailer that likely many of you have seen. Ooh. Though, some of you may not have seen it yet, so please take a look. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see the balance key. And the newspaper must be balanced. It must be balanced. No party cannot be. It will never be to go back to members. The art of balance must end. It can never balance. They are arriving. Man, this is obviously scary to see the editing. Oh. Oh, I know this. I know this. Oh, don't worry about that, Desi. It's just the alien invasion. Not in real life. Alright. Let's stop this. Greetings. We are the almighty Falu. You are lucky to be in our presence. We have deep Earth becoming too powerful and in a potential threat. We are here to reduce the power of Earth. Yeah, I'm dumbing in the voice of Alien of uh, from Alien Innovation from Tony Alley Ultimate. That's because you guys, some of you know that Alien language was so hard for you because it's gibberish, and I'm, I'm here to dub it in because I'm a translator. Here comes the Alien Invasion. Battle of Los Angeles flashback. This is amazing. Whoever doing this, I'm gonna give a huge shout out. Oh, and yes, I do have a sandwich and my coffee, so don't mind me, because I'm here to eat it, because it's for the supplies. Dun dun dun. Ottoman Street. Oh, damn, boy. Whoa, what the? Tsunami, meteor, flood, acid rain, hurricane, blah, 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 atomic bomb, volcano, and... Alien Evasion! Oh, this game was obviously look like Smash, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, what did you think? It's cool! Alien Invasion is coming to Tornado Alley Ultimate in the Art of Balance 3 update. One of me. Let's jump a bit more into Alien Invasion and talk about how it works. Alien Invasion plays a bit different from the other disasters in the game. It's more of an AI disaster, or even sort of a boss battle. Ooh. When alien invasion occurs, the aliens that invade will come from different possible extraterrestrial civilizations, Ooh. and their behavior will vary. The civilization's behavior is random, but they can range from passive, passive to very hostile. hostile. There are Ooh. four possible types of civilization behavior. Passive, neutral, aggressive, Mm. and vengeful. Ooh. What did the aliens Each want from us? has a different goal when attacking Earth. Passive civilizations want to simply study humans, even if that means a few may need to be sacrificed. Neutral civilizations find Earth as a threat and want to reduce the threat by attacking. Ooh. Aggressive civilizations have a goal of conquering Earth for their own. 
and vengeful civilizations have only one goal in mind. Destroy Earth and everything that inhabits it. These behaviors will determine what movesets the aliens will have when they invade. Oh. The behavior also will determine how many UFOs will invade the map. Uh, okay. There are four possible moves the UFOs can use to wreak havoc on the map. Hmm. Abduction beams, uh -huh. death rays, uh -huh. anti-gravity rays, okay. and sometimes even a heat-seeking laser. Ooh. Death rays are red beams that shoot Whoa. out the bottom of the UFO. They will destroy anything in their path, including humans and structures. So you best avoid them when you can. And what about this? Anti-gravity rays are actually less dangerous as they only target structures. When structures are hit by anti-gravity rays, debris will float into the atmosphere. This isn't a direct threat to players, but it can leave them exposed to the other deadly weapons the UFOs do possess. Abduction, abduction beams. beams are the staple weapons of UFOs. Aliens will sometimes try to abduct players into their spaceship. Shelter is extremely important against abduction beams, because if the aliens try to abduct you through a building, Whoa. a ceiling may be the only saving grace from you being abducted and subsequently killed. Uh, okay. Lastly, heat-seeking lasers. These Ooh. weapons are only used by aggressive and vengeful behavior oh. civilizations, okay. but they are extremely deadly. It is the heat-seeking lasers are a more powerful death ray, but this time they target individual players. The best way to survive these are to be inside a building, as the lasers would have to break through the structure. Oh, you had to, to you. shelter yourself on the building, Luigi. We've been wanting to add alien invasion not going for a outside. long time. If you, it was actually a scrapped idea. If you're, it was if once you, supposed if you to be added alongside being, atomic bomb a you few years to hide ago. Them in the building, man. So they are here now, and I hope you like it. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Alien Invasion is I the mean, ninth Billy. bonus disaster that has been added to Tornado Alley Ultimate. Yeah. However, it's not the last one to be introduced today. Why? Please take a look. Um, okay. Oh, come on. Not again. Wait, what? Albatross. Axe, do you copy? Affirmative. Albatross. Detail. Intruders scrimmage. A server a private crisis is imminent. Roger. Requesting immediate support. Requesting. Connecting into you to the Roxian Air Command now. What the heck? This is Air Command. Do you copy? Affirmative. What is the diagnosis of this crisis? Critical threats to the public health. Oh boy. Roger. What is the request you seek? A supply drop with a military grade gas mask? Come again? Gas mask. Oh man. Not again. What is the threat? Foreign and chemical warfare targeting civilians? Negative. Roger. What is the threat? Air. What? No. No. Air? Affirmative. Quality is dropping to significantly of lethal levels with no signs of stopping. Roger. How many civilians live in an affected area? One million. Roger. How many gas masks will in the RAC airdrop? Our entire reserve stock. Roger. Can I get in an uh, estimation of that number? People will die without a mask. Roger. We have reserves of... Two, three, zero, zero, zero. Twenty, thirty thousand. We will have them to make a deal with them when we make. Thank you. Uh, what? Those poor souls. Oh, what's gonna happen? What? Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. It's. Oh, pollution gas. With everything scanning, nobody could survive this. That's right. Pollution is coming to Tornado Alley Ultimate. <laughs> bonus disaster. I can't wait. The pollution disaster centers around air that becomes too polluted to breathe. The air conditions get so bad that suffocation is inevitable 
if you don't take any action. Oh! Pollution's gameplay is similar to Atomic Bomb in the sense where you have to race against time. Ah, oh, But dang it. this new disaster incorporates another obstacle, other players. What? When an onset of pollution begins, an airplane will be flown over the map to drop a supply crate of gas masks. Oh. All you have to do is grab a gas mask from the crate before pollution gets heavy. Easy, right? Yeah. Well, it would be if there weren't limited gas masks. What? Are you serious, the Billy? The gas masks in the crate depends on how many players are in the game. There will always be a shortage of gas masks. What? And first come, first serve. Aww. For example, if there are five players in a game, there may only be three gas masks available. Are you serious? The first three players to get a mask will be safe, while the other two will be left stranded and hopeless. Oh. Is, unless they have an underground shelter key. Oh, okay, this the will be good. The only way to survive pollution is either by having a gas mask or by using the underground shelter. Good one. If pollution gets too heavy and you're without either solution, you'll slowly suffocate to death. Ooh. And don't think healing items will help you either. What? It may buy you extra time, but the rate you suffocate increases the longer you're exposed. Are you serious, man? You'll die, regardless of a goblet or Bloxy Cola healing item. Pollution is the 10th bonus disaster coming to the game. Though it was actually planned far earlier than Alien Invasion was. I don't know, Mario. Did you know that Billion and the Mania look hard. Back in June 2020, but was replaced by Acid Rain. <laughs> Regardless, we're finally wow. happy to bring both into the game after all this time. Thank you, man. I obviously thank you. Jeez. Now, speaking of Acid Rain, let's talk a little bit about the weather system. Oh. For the Art of Balance 3 update, we've changed the weather system up a lot. Uh -huh. We've added dynamic clouds to give a better sense of realism, and we've also revamped the weather for Ooh. a lot of disasters. Flash floods, for example, have a much darker atmosphere to them rather than the bright blue atmosphere they used to have. Hurricanes, as another example, have a much more bluish atmosphere to them oh. rather than the old gray atmosphere they had prior. Mm -hmm. Now. Probably the most noticeable change you will see is the prevalence of rain. Uh. Rain now falls when appropriate, which definitely gives a more immersive feel when playing Tornado Alley Ultimate. We really hope you enjoy the new weather system, but please note that we may continue to make further changes to the atmospheres of certain disasters and game modes far beyond the release of the update. Okay. These changes are only visual changes, but we did alter some of the bonus disasters as well. Oh. We made many small changes to some of the bonus disasters. Some of these changes were simple balancing changes, such as making Lava Flood more deadly like it once was. However, we made a few larger changes to one of the bonus disasters as well. Mm. Let's take a look at Hurricane. Okay, let's see. Hurricane is definitely a fan favorite disaster of the game. Though, the more players experience it, the easier it is to understand how it works, and eventually you can easily determine what part of the map is safe because you learn which direction the hurricane always comes from on certain maps. Oh. That all changes with Art of Balance 3. Hurricanes are now multi-directional, meaning they will arrive from different directions every time. Mm. Instead of always arriving from the same direction, hurricanes can now enter from either the north, south, east, or west. Oh. The roleplay messages will give you an early warning about the direction the hurricane is coming from. Oh. But regardless, this will definitely make you rethink your strategy on how to survive hurricanes, because now, nowhere is safe. Ooh. There were other smaller changes to other disasters as well, really? but we'll leave it to you to see them. Okay. I also wanted to talk about the most important disaster in the game, what? tornadoes. Oh. We've made some changes to tornadoes that are fairly big, so I think it's important to cover them. When you are too close to a tornado, you may be familiar with the drag feature that slowly drags your player into the tornado when in danger. <laughs> Sorry. This has actually been revamped in the Art of Balance 3 update. Ooh. Now, the drag power exerted on your player depends on how close you are to the tornado. The closer you are, the more powerful the drag force is, and if you're too close, it may be too powerful to outrun. Ooh. With these changes, we've actually extended the range the drag force can happen. 
so you could be much further away from the tornado now and still experience being dragged in. But because the drag force power depends on how close you are, keeping distance will be more important than ever before. Okay. And as an added bonus, when you're in the process of being dragged in, your screen will change visually. It will become saturated, your screen will shake, and it will slowly get darker and harder to see. Mm. This makes it much more challenging to escape the drag force uh. because it can quickly obscure your vision and disorient you. Okay. Another major change we added to tornadoes applies to all of the game mm. modes that have multiple tornadoes, such as Double Trouble, Triple Threat, and Fornado. Ooh. In the past, when multiple tornadoes spawn at once, they all spawned in the same location. This is no longer the case. When multiple tornadoes now spawn, they will all spawn in random locations on the map. Mm. This makes game modes that have many tornadoes even more difficult, because the more tornadoes there are, the more likely it is for one to spawn within your general location. Speaking of multiple tornado game modes, you decided to make Pentanado, which was once a private server exclusive game mode, now a public game mode. Meaning yeah. in this update, you'll be able to experience Pentanado, or five tornadoes at once, in public servers for the first time. Yeah. This is because we're introducing a new game mode to private servers. Ooh. Sixnado is coming to private servers and will be replacing Pentanado as a private server exclusive game mode. Damn. With Sixnado, you can now experience up to six tornadoes at once in private servers. We always thought that Fornado would be pushing the boundaries of performance, and then we added Pentanado. Now, we added Sixnado. What else could we do? Mm. Well, it's time to introduce a new rare event that can occur, and we call this event Dual Threat. Ooh, what does it mean? Dual Threat has a 1% chance of occurring during any tornado game mode. Oh. This rare event will reveal itself before the tornado forms. If a Dual Threat phenomenon is occurring, a second emergency alert system will appear announcing it. Dual Threat essentially doubles the game mode's tornado count. This means for the first time ever, you can experience two freeze nados at once, or maybe two your doom tornadoes at once. And this even applies to multi-tornado game modes, meaning in a private server, you can experience up to 12 tornadoes at once Damn. if dual threat occurs during six nado. Dual threat is a rare event that we thought would be very cool to add to Tornado Alley Ultimate. We hope you enjoy it and the endless scenarios it can create. Okay. Now that we covered some of the public server changes happening to the game, we want to introduce some new changes coming to private servers. Mm. Currently, if you buy a private server for Tornado Alley Ultimate, you have many perks that aren't present in public servers. You're able to queue any game mode, pick any map, have access to dozens of classic private server exclusive maps, and change some settings such as the time of day and disabling the lightning mechanic. However, we wanted to greatly expand upon the many perks a private server includes, Ooh. so we'd like to share them with you today. Firstly, you'll notice that we changed all of the main settings into a user interface that the server owner can easily access no matter where they are in the game. What? On top of this, we added a ton of new controls and settings for server owners to adjust to their liking. Oh, that's why. You'll notice four tabs on the interface. Admin, Game, Q, and Extras. Oh, that's why. In the Admin tab, we have two current features for server owners. The first is a simple kick function that allows the server owner to kick any player from their private server. If a player is causing issues, you can remove them from the game very easily. Mm. The second feature is called No New Players. If enabled, the game will automatically kick any player that tries joining if they're under a day old. Oh. So now, if someone is attempting to cause trouble in your private server by creating alternative accounts, you can simply turn this feature on and it will prevent any day old accounts from entering your server. Ooh, okay. Got so it. now, let's look at the game tab, which has a ton of new controls for server owners in a private server. The first setting you will see is bonus disasters. Server owners can now turn off bonus disasters, meaning both natural and queued bonus disasters will be disabled. 
Okay. So if you prefer surviving only against tornadoes, you could turn this feature on to disable bonus disasters. The second feature is the same lightning mechanic setting that server owners currently have, though it is now in this user interface rather than the private server room in the lobby for your convenience. Turning this on simply disables the lightning mechanic. Mm. Next, we have the round duration feature. Server owners can now modify how long the tornadoes will last. In order to prevent survival farming, we've set the minimum limit to 120 seconds, which is the same duration as a public server. However, you are able to have up to 999 second long tornado rounds, which is about 16 and a half minutes, if you oh. prefer. The next feature is the time of day modifier, which is another setting server owners already have in the current version of the game. The difference with this new setting, however, is that server owners can now choose any time of the day rather than a simple day or night preset. The next three settings affect the game itself. The first is called Prevent Inventory Items. If you have ever wanted a round where all players are forced to survive without any aid of accessories, you could turn this on. This simply makes all players <laughs> load into the game Sorry. without any of their equipped accessories. Ooh. PvP mode, or player versus player mode, is oh. a fun little setting that you can turn on that turns all loot that spawns into weapons from the skirmish game mode. Dang! With this enabled, no matter what the game mode is, weapons will spawn and you can battle other players without the fear of being jailed prematurely like in the skirmish game mode. Man. And lastly, the final setting in the game tab is underground shelters. Oh. As a server owner, you can disable the underground shelter feature to prevent anyone from entering it. This so, will be easy. If you ever wanted a round where everybody must face the disaster head on, you could turn this on and players will be notified that they can't enter the shelter if they try to. Queuing game modes work similar to how it did before, oh. but the queue tab offers a better explanation on how to do it. Now, you may be wondering what the Extras tab is. Or rather, you may be wondering what is the purpose of the private server room now that all of the controls that were once there are now in an interface. Mm. Well, the private server room has a new purpose. In the private server room, you'll find even more controls for your private server. Modifiers. Ooh. Modifiers are fun little extra controls that you can turn on for your enjoyment. There's only a few currently, but we plan to add more in the future. The first modifier is called Epic Ducks. With this turned on, all meteors in the game turn into ducks. <laughs> why? Because why not? <laughs> why not? Weird. Another modifier is called Super Zeus. <laughs> By turning this on, all lightning in the game becomes supercharged. Ooh. Their damage is increased, their radius is increased, and you'll notice your screen shakes more when lightning strikes. Supercharged lightning also has a purplish color to them. Combining this modifier with the Zeus game mode itself can be one chaotic combination. Mm. This next modifier we'd like to show to you will likely satisfy many fans of the old Tornado Alley games. Ooh. We hear a lot that many of you miss the old mesh tornadoes instead of the beam tornadoes that Tornado Alley Ultimate incorporates today. Well. We've heard your requests. The next modifier I'd like to introduce is called Mesh Tornadoes. Yeah! By turning on the Mesh Tornadoes modifier, all tornadoes will have a retro feel to them. Now, you can once again experience what Old Tornado Alley was like with Mesh Tornadoes. We hope you enjoy using this modifier to experience a blast from the past. <laughs> the last modifier we'll be showing today is Hardcore Mode. We plan to expand onto it more in the future but just know that for now, turning this modifier on makes the game more difficult to survive. All of these new private server controls will be included with the arrival of the Art of Balance 3 update. Yeah. If you currently own a private server, no action is necessary on your part. All of these controls will arrive for your enjoyment when the update is released. The price for a private server will remain the same, 200 Robux per month. <laughs> I don't have any Robux, Billy. What are you talking about? So, what do you think so far of the update? 
Yep. We have I a bit it. more to show off and maybe a few surprises left. Ooh. So I hope you're excited. Okay. Remember, at the end, we'll be revealing the next map for the update. So stay tuned. Oh, God. Now, let's keep talking a bit more about some changes this update brings. Okay. You may have noticed from earlier in the presentation, but we've significantly improved the interaction system. We know a lot of you have had trouble trying to get into the shelter due to an unresponsive interaction system. So we've revamped it and now it works flawlessly. Oh, uh, We're still in the process of revamping a few features. And with such a big update, we were unfortunately unable to finish a few features we plan to revamp. One of these features is the carrying feature. We know it's vital to the game, but we're going to temporarily disable it upon Art of Balance 3's release. But don't worry, once we finish revamping it, we'll be sure to re-implement it back into the game once ready. Okay. Speaking of bringing features back, I'd like to quickly talk about one game feature that was once removed and now returning. Ooh, what is it? In the very early days of Tornado Alley Ultimate, the round results used to reveal the amount of monetary damage caused by a tornado after a round. It was removed when we released the ultimate update back in June 2020. <laughs> I told we you. We decided to reintroduce it after we've made some significant changes to the round results interface. Oh. Now, after every tornado round, you could see a fun little statistic showing how much financial damage a Damn. tornado causes. Speaking of round results, you can now see the survival results of a bonus disaster if it occurs. A simple click of a button will now allow you to check the survivors of the tornado, as well as the survivors of a bonus disaster if one occurred. Mm. Also, we know a lot of players love to keep track of how many times they've survived a disaster, so we're introducing a brand new feature that keeps track of how many times you've survived a bonus disaster. Ooh. By opening up your inventory screen, you'll notice a button that says Stats. By clicking on this button, you'll see a list of all bonus disasters in the game, as well as how many times you survived each one. If you survive a bonus disaster 100 times, you'll master the bonus disaster, Ooh. which may offer benefits in the future. Yeah. And speaking of bonus disasters, this update introduces a summoning cooldown of 30 seconds, meaning players will no longer be able to spam disasters too easily. Oh, I learned my lesson now. Now, it's time to finally discuss some changes to specific game modes. There's not too many in this update, but there's still a few I'd like to cover. First, I'd like to talk about the Time Bomb Terror game mode. In this update, we've increased the rate that bombs are launched, and we also increased their blast radius from 10 studs to 20. Ooh. Another major change comes to Trollnado, Jackonado, and Wraithnado. Oh, okay. Chill this out. update makes these game modes unable to harm you if you are inside the shelter, which was once not the case. So as long as you are in the shelter from now on during these game modes, you will be safe from their curses. The last major change made to a game mode is Bombs Away. Ah. Uh. Bombs Away now includes four different bomb types. Ooh. Alongside the standard bomb, three new bomb types were added to Bombs Away. Bombs Away they family. Blue Burst, Yellow Lightning, and the Mother of All Bombs. What? We aren't going to go in depth on these bomb types today, so we'll leave it up to you to experience them as an element of surprise. Ooh. Those are all the game mode changes we were able to show today. I hope you like them. It has been over a year since we added the final game mode, Skirmish, to Tornado Alley Ultimate when it was released in January of 2021. Yep, yeah, I know that. Today, however, that changes. It is time to introduce a brand new game mode coming to Tornado Alley Ooh. Ultimate. What? Wow. Oh, don't worry, Tara, I gotcha. Huh? What? Cur... Cur... What? Was that the criminal crap? Lurker is a oh. brand new game mode coming to Tornado Alley Ultimate. Lurker, I thought that was You may Kirker. notice how similar it looks to the limited time Krampus game mode that was present during Holiday Bash. No pun intended. <laughs> this is because the Krampus game mode actually Fun used intended. the Lurker Tornado yeah, right, since really. Lurker yeah, was right. still in development at the time. 
Lurker's main mechanic is that it can stalk individual players. What? It has a nightmarish looking chat bubble that will show the name of the player it intends to target. If you're targeted by the Lurker, your screen will be cluttered with unsettling messages. Oh. If you see it target you, you best run away as fast as you can. It's creepy. Of course, the underground shelter is safe from the Lurker, and it will only target players that it can reach in the map. This is, this so is like Dallas I definitely recommend and I. planning your strategy ahead of time before the Lurker arrives, because it is very hard to outrun it. Lurker will arrive with the release of Art of Balance 3 as the 27th game mode in the game. Finally. We're almost finished with the presentation today. Though, before we are, I'd like to mention that there are tons of smaller changes coming to the game as well that we did not cover in this presentation. As usual, you will be able to see all of the changes made in this update in the update log, which will be available when Art of Balance 3 is released. So please feel free to read that to understand everything coming that we did not cover today. Okay. And with that, it is now time to reveal what you all have been waiting for. Map 3 of the Art of Balance updates. Oh yeah, Talibill. As a refresher, the Art of Balance updates intended to bring three new maps to the game. The first being Airport, the second being Tropico, and the third has been unknown until now. <laughs> Before we reveal map 3, I wanted to mention that the music you are about to hear was specifically composed for this reveal. Ooh. It is by far my favorite soundtrack I've ever composed for the game. What is it? It's called Balance at Last, <gasps> and I hope you like it. Oh, and with God. that, it is time to reveal map 3. Oh Please yeah. Take a look. Oh yeah, I'm a looking. <sighs> ah, <gasps> it's the balance. Oh, oh okay. Balance at last. Oh, this is very creepy. These two question marks are slid in half. Oh yeah, nuclear power plant. I thought that was a, a new shelter, but no. We had nuclear power plant. Oh, there's a rabbit thing in there. Revamp. Oh, that was new. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought that was a new map, but no. But this thing is revamp. Hurricane Bunker. <laughs> Gas stations. Oh, toilets. I don't tell. Oh, that looks like a nuke town. Classic Interstate 95 for public server. I mean, private server. Classic State Park for the pilots. Okay, where's the Televille now? I'm waiting. Wait, 
their house? Wait, who is he? Was that Brockner man? Or Brockner's dad? Guys, come, comment down below who is he? Is that Billy or it was not Billy? Oh, it's... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Billy still missed that family! Oh shoot, this is sad, man. I'm sorry about your loss, Billy. I'm so sorry. Oh wait, Billy's checking their room. This is one of the one of the most tragic death that Billy has ever seen. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, Billy! Wait, where's he going? Oh, I know where this guy's going. To the Telebill! For after the monster on 2013. Oh man! Telebill is now ruined because of 2013 monster. I gotta know that that their family is gone. I love it 2013 before the monster of 2013. I mean, this is sad, man. That poor guy always missing missed their family after they got killed. Yeah, talking about the 20 that kills 552 people. Oh, man. So sad. I'm so sad to see the Billy Brockner li losing their family. That's right. Map 3 was not just one map. Map 3 was actually a collection of many maps. A collection? We wanted to push ourselves for the content included in this update. And this meant more maps than ever introduced in an update before. Nuclear Power Plant, Giza, Timberton Revamp, Adamtown, Televille 2013, and Televille 2022 are all arriving with the Art of Balance 3 update. Ooh. It's time to talk about the main map introduced, oh. Televille. Televille has a long history with the Tornado Alley series. The first reference to Televille was in the first ever Tornado Alley game that released back in 2013. Televille was never a playable map, but it was referenced as a city that was destroyed in the original game's roleplay messages. The name itself, Televille, derives from the Roblox admin, Telemon, oh. who you may now know as Shedletsky. When we decided to add Televille to the game, we wanted to build upon the original Tornado Alley game's lore, where it was stated Televille was destroyed. Oh. So in order to do such, we're introducing two versions of Televille. The first version is called Televille 2022, uh -huh. which is what the city looks like today. Nine oh. years after a catastrophic event took place that left the city abandoned and ruined. The second version is called Televille 2013, which is what the city looked like in the year 2013, right before the catastrophic event took place. Oh. Televille was once known as the Dream City, and now, the events that happened there left it desolated, and all that remains are broken dreams. That leaves the question, what was the catastrophic event that caused oh, Televille's demise? I know that. That's a game mode, I think. Many refer to this event as the Monster of 2013. Yep. That's it. But right what there. truly was it? Well, we may never know. What? But if you look hard enough, you may find the answer to your question. What? I hope you enjoy the maps that arrive in Art of Balance 3. Are you kidding me, Billy? There are only three more announcements left in this presentation. It better be good. What could they be? Well, this may come as a surprise, 
but alien invasion and pollution are not the only disasters to arrive in this what? update. Are you kidding me? There's actually one more we want to show you today. Oh. Please take a look. Okay, you better be good. Don't make me angry this time. Oh. What happened? Wait. Why are we in the space again? What is that? Oh! Oh, I know that thing. Oh, this thing is coming straight for us. What the heck? <gasps> A black hole! I know it! Yeah, I called it! Black hole! What's it gonna do? That's right. Black hole is coming as the final disaster introduced in this update. Bonus disaster number 11. When the black hole disaster occurs, a black hole will form in random areas of the map. The smaller it is, the less powerful it is. In order for a black hole to grow, it requires mass to be collected from parts around it. If a black hole forms in a cluttered area with tons of debris to collect, the black hole will thrive and become very big, thus more powerful. Whoa. If a black hole is unable to grow, it will eventually die off, but a new one will spawn to take its place what? in hopes to be more successful. Okay. Lastly, if a black hole becomes too big, it will also die, spawning a new one to take its place. What? Black hole is the 11th bonus disaster to be coming to Tornado Alley Ultimate. That was like an 11th bonus disaster. I really hope disaster. you enjoy Alien Invasion, Whoa. Pollution, Whoa. and Black Hole Whoa. in this update. Yeah! Now, it's time for the final two announcements. Two announcements, Unfortunately, please. we weren't able to get these two announcements ready in time for Art of Balance 3's release. Are you kidding so me? So I hope you're willing to give us a bit more time to work on them. Okay. However, we still consider them a part of Art of Balance 3, and we'll release them sometime after the update's release, once we're satisfied with them. I really like how Though, Billy Brockner we'd like to share them with losing you their family because they left and the died in the The two announcements are two brand new wow. game modes coming to Way Tornado to Alley Ultimate. The parenting, Billy. On top of the Lurker game mode, these two game modes will also be coming, making a total of three brand new game modes to the game, Ooh. and four if you count six NATO. Here is the game mode logo for the first unannounced game mode. What's it? Again with the balance logo. Wait, what the? <gasps> tai Chi 2! The Yi and Yang split off. A highly fan requested game mode, Tai Chi 2, Tai Chi 2. The Tornado Alley Ultimate yeah. sometime after the release of Art of Balance 3. Yeah. I can't talk too much about this game mode at this time as it's still early in development, but I hope you look forward to it. Okay, I'm ready. I'm and now, one. it's time for the final game mode reveal oh. and the final reveal of this presentation. We're gonna find the monster Again, 2013, are we? It is just a teaser as it won't be ready when the update itself releases, uh, okay. but I hope you look forward to it regardless. Okay. Please take a look. Okay, you guys ready? This is gonna be great! Oh, don't worry about it, Mario. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Shh, shh. Oh. Oh, the image! The artwork of old Billy, dude. And his home. And the picture! Everybody. F in the chat of Billy. They're, he's losing their family. You can't run from him forever, Brockner.
Oh god. Tartarus? Tartarus is making its debut in an official Tornado Alley game when it releases sometime after Art of Balance 3. This is like Tornado Insanity Game Mode! As a developer, we love seeing community fan creations of our game. Whether that's fan art, Whoa. fan music, or even fan games. There's certainly a very talented community that loves to leave their mark on the series' legacy. In January of this year, after discussing it with the other Tornado Alley Ultimate developers, we thought it would be a great idea to include fan creations to represent the fans directly into Tornado Alley Ultimate. Oh. We wondered what would be the best content addition to directly represent fans, and we figured that including a game mode from the most popular Tornado Alley Ultimate fan game, Tornado Insanity, See? would be the best choice. I told you! So we reached out to the developer of the fan game, Soda Shine Games. Thank you, Soda Shine Games. They were Shine on games. board to bring Tataris to Tornado Alley Ultimate. Yeah. Soda, Soda Shine Games no longer works on Tornado Insanity, though they are working on a new game called Disaster Warning, oh. which I definitely recommend checking out. Soda Shine Games will be happy. Overall, we thank Soda and Soda Shine Games for working with us to bring a very lovely Thank you, game Soda and Soda Tornado Shine Alley Games. Ultimate. And for I bringing hope the love fan is excited game. to see its debut. Yeah. I G2 and Tataris will release sometime after the Art of Balance 3 update. Whoa! And we'll give more news on them once they're ready. So please stay tuned. Yeah, sure. And that is all of the content we have to reveal for you all today. And that's it. It has been a long process of development. So I really hope you are looking forward to the Art of Balance 3 update. As for a release date, because this update has so much content, we need to do a lot of testing to ensure it properly works upon release. Okay. Because of this, I'm unfortunately unable to give you an exact date just yet. What? Why? However, if all testing goes well, we're aiming for an early June release. Oh. After this presentation, we're going to be entering the closed testing stages of the update. Okay. We may also require open testing sessions that would ask for your help. Sure. So please stay tuned to the Tornado Alley community group for news on open testing sessions. Okay. And when we're ready to announce an exact release date, we'll be announcing it on the Tornado Alley community group wall, the Discord server, and the TAU Twitter account when ready. So please stay tuned. Sure. Thank you all so much for your patience. Oh and I hope God. you look forward to the Art of Balance 3 update. I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to the presentation and extend my greatest appreciation to the oh, Tornado man. Alley community. Thank you for your support over the years, and I am so excited to jump into the next era of Tornado Alley Ultimate. Yeah, you're welcome, man. And with that, we'll see you next time. Keep surviving. Yeah, keep surviving, bro. Woo! Man. You know, the best part of the Art of Balance 3 video, where we see a dude who had silver hair and a silver beard, and I already know who that dude is. It's Billy Brockner. And I know that guy. That dude lost his family. I mean, I, I obviously went sad to see the Billy Brockner family is gone. And the dude got the key and drive to the car and drive straight to the Teleview. I mean, what is the guy gonna do? I mean, what is Billy gonna do? He's gonna find the ghost of his family? Man! Billy, you can't go back to Teleview. If you do that, well, that means you're dead and you meet your family in heaven, man. I mean, Billy, I'm... I'm really sorry about your losses of your family, man. It was Monster 2013. So, yeah. <sighs> that is so super sad. I mean, I really kind of enjoyed it. The Art of Balance 3 update because of a... Uh, because Billy Brockner lost his family. F in the chat. Or plus F in the comments. So, yeah.
That is it. That is the end of Art of Balance 3. Art Balance at last. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe. If you want to play Tornado Alley Ultimate after when it was released, I'll leave the Tornado Alley Ultimate game link and the Roblox group in the middle description if you guys want to play Tornado Alley Ultimate after its update. So, press F in the comment if Brockner losing his family. So, whoever, uh, you guys know who Monster at 2013 is? What's it gonna be? Your deal? Tartarus? Or, uh, or Unstoppable? I mean, why did this tornado kill us 552? Just leave a comment and we'll find out. So, Billy Brockner, I will keep surviving until the end of time, man. I will keep surviving until the end of the time. Alright? Bye! You can't escape him forever, Brockner.